In the following tutorial, you will learn where and how to retrieve the promotional material of our advertisers. Let's take a look. Next up, we will talk about the different material and where you can find it. After being approved for a campaign, you can access all promotional material the advertiser made available for the publishers. We will now dive deeper into finding the right material you can use for promoting a campaign. So there are all kinds of promotional material available, from text links to banners and product feeds. We will start with explaining the main advertising material, text links and banners. Click on material followed by clicking on advertisements. Search for the specific campaign that you would like to promote by using the search bar again. We'll go further on the example of Grover. Here you see all the uh, promotional material that you can use to promote the campaign. So there are two types of promotional material showing, text links and banners. At the top you can also use filters, such as specific ad types, where image are the banners, HTML is the language and text are the text links that you can use to promote. But you could also filter on ad groups. Uh, for example, if an advertiser has multiple promotional material available for the, uh, for the publishers. Once you find the banner or link that you would like to promote, click on Use Material. Select the media where you want to promote the campaign with. And now, you can also add a sub-ID. This is not mandatory, but it can help you in multiple ways. You can use the sub-ID, for example, to measure the performance of the same link placed on different positions on your media. Or you could use a different sub-ID for separate mailings. The idea is that the landing page you send your visitors to is the same, but you use it the different link on your own page or email. So, for example, if you want to do a little bit of A-B testing. If you are familiar with HTML, you can extract both text and image links as HTML form. If you click on the URL, you can copy paste this into your website CMS. The link is the tracking link and the image link is the link of the image 